Once your video is done recording, Screencastify will open up this little video preview window where your video will be playing. I'm just going to hit pause on that right now. And there'll be a button here that says click to unmute. So when you're ready to actually listen to your recording, you can hit that. Um, I'm going to leave mine muted because this is just an example and I don't want to talk over me talking in the video. That's kind of weird. Okay, so in this window, we have a couple things. I can rename my screencast. So that's the first thing I'm going to do. Actually, you should put your name on it. Okay. And then there we go. See, there's my talking happened. I'm going to mute it over here. Okay. So once you've renamed your file, there's a couple easy things we can do in here. Um, we can use these scissors to do some trimming. So if I want to get rid of this part where it's like it says loading and it's all kind of not quite ready yet, and I haven't quite started talking or doing my presentation, I can grab these scissors and use those to trim. So I'll just drag it up and then I can hit, there we go. I can play it from that trimmed point and make sure that it looks good. Make sure you get it right because you can't undo the trimming once we hit save. I'm gonna trim the end, do the same thing, get rid of the stuff that I don't need. And let's see, almost there. Okay, that looks pretty good. So I'm just going to double check, come back to the front, drag it all the way over. I'm going to watch the whole thing and make sure that everything looks good and that my transition at the end is also perfect. Okay. I'm going to hit save trim. It's going to give me a warning. Trimming a video replaces the original video. It actually changes the file, so you can't undo it. Once I'm done, I'm going to say trim. Give it a moment to actually process, and my video will be trimmed up. In a lot of cases, this is all you're going to need to do. So we're not even going to look at the editor yet. Over here on the right, once your video is trimmed and renamed and ready to go, we have a couple options. So it automatically saved our Google Drive. So I could either get the shareable link here or down here, I could actually do get embed code, share to classroom, or even cooler, if I say more options, I can generate a QR code directly. This QR code will link directly to Google Drive. So this is totally perfect for our project. Once it's ready to go, I can say download. Now I have this image that I can put into a Google slide or a document to create my poster for my screencast.